Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. As you can see today, we are on a brand new game to the channel and that is Combat Rift. Now, this is a little bit different than usual. Usually here, I cover my very first reaction to a game and I pretty much share my entire progress with you guys until I obviously, you know, go off camera and end up doing a bunch of grinding. But for this game, it's a little bit different and that's because I've been playing this a lot while on my free time. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun for those of you that haven't tried out Combat Rift. It's very similar to an extremely popular game that is called unboxing simulator but on top of that you also have a little bit of kind of dungeon quest because there is dungeons within this game but at the same time it also has a little bit of pet games in it it's basically just a hybrid of a bunch of different games combined into one and honestly dude it is incredible i love this game so much but anyways most recently they just released a brand new zone called the great forest inside of here they have a brand new aura shop what's seems to be back there like potentially their second dungeon that unfortunately is coming soon and then they also included two brand new eggs with what i believe is a new rarity i think the godly is specifically for this update and on top of that you are able to combine all of your weapons to turn them into legend defy to obviously make them more stronger there's really a lot to take in right now if you've never played this game before you're probably going to be a little confused but honestly i wanted to instantly start recording because one of my subscribers by the name of cory 999 he's right over here on the right hand side i don't actually know if that's how you say his name so my apologies ahead of time if i said it incorrectly but he basically got in contact with me and let me know that he had a legendary weapon from this final area which unfortunately i can't really kill anything here because i haven't quite progressed this far yet so for instance if i open up my inventory here you'll see that right now i'm using the overcharge time blade which is a celestial rarity and if you notice it kind of has this thing slapped on it that says mastered that's basically because i grabbed 10 of these swords combined them together turned it into an evolved and then i grabbed 10 of the evolved ones combined them together and it turned into a master obviously the next step from here would be to grab 10 of the mastered ones and then turn it into a legendify which at the time that i'm recording this video is the final kind of like evolution but if we look down here the total damage on this is 630,000. if i go ahead and open up the index here this is basically where it's going to tell you what npcs drop what weapon scrolling down all the way to the very bottom you'll notice that i obviously haven't gotten any weapons from the npcs inside of this brand new zone also keep in mind i keep saying brand new but it's actually like four or five days old i'm a little late to the update but yeah coming back here to the index i'm basically using right now the second best weapon for the clockwork area i would show you the boss but this guy is kind of afk farming it right now and killing it over and over again but the point is is that i have the second best weapon for this zone but Corey has gone ahead and contacted me and let me know that he has the 95 percent one in legendary form from basically the final boss in this brand new zone which does 1.7 million damage that is quite literally 1.1 million more damage than the current weapon that i'm using and kind of like what i wanted to show you before if i was to try and attack one of these hollow fiends that are level 400 i just don't do enough damage and it basically two shots me and i'm done for okay so now i'm basically having a conversation with Cora here letting him know that i was going to be sending him a trade and now he's telling me that he's going to give me the sword that he's using i'm honestly not entirely sure which one that is or if it's the same one that i was showing you guys but apparently the one that he's using does 1.98 million damage which is actually gross so let's go ahead and open up our trade window here request Corey, and oh my god it is called the faulty mechanical spike does 1.98 million and it is in legendary form that is insane dude now i kind of wonder if because it is two swords if i'm gonna need dual wielding if i do it's not really a big deal i think i have everything that i need in order to be able to do this but let's go ahead and open up our inventory here there it is right there dude that is actually insane how strong this weapon is but there we go man we went ahead and equipped it um and it doesn't really seem like we need the dual wield i don't think i unlocked it let me double check though yeah see that's weird i never actually purchased the dual wielding potion but i'm able to dual wield already i guess maybe this is specifically for like the single-handed weapons you can dual wield those but regardless even if i did have to purchase this i have every single one of the things i just haven't bought it yet but let's go see how much of a difference this is making dude can we one shot these 
and wow we actually can we still took a little bit of damage though but we are finally able to one shot them and technically if i back up right as i'm doing damage uh they they, they still absolutely wreck me okay that's cool oh wait it looks like type moon wants to give me some pets yo shout out to type moon man one of the really cool content creators that makes videos for this game is actually helping me out right now and he's giving me a bunch of mastered pets dude what that's insane he just gave me six of them yo huge shout out to type moons man he or she is definitely incredible for doing that thank you so so much let me open up my inventory and check these out compared to what i'm currently using so before i was using the clockwork wind up robots that was kind of like the vast majority of the ones that i was using and these give me a times 1.32k on the coin side and then on the diamond side it gives me times 930 for the new ones that i have we're looking at 2k and basically 2k on the other side as well that is in Insane. And the craziest part of it all is that they gave me level ones as well as two level 30s. So just in comparison, these are the stats of the Great Galactic Stag at level one. And then these are the stats at level 30. So we're looking at an increase of about 500. Not too bad at all. So let's unequip all of these and equip our new ones. And there we go, dude. Look at how sick these look. I like how it has like the little galactic thing in between the horns. That is super cool. And dude, my character looks insane with these weapons. Yo, which actually that reminds me of one other thing that i want to show you guys huge huge shout out to the developer of combat rift i want to say maybe like uh, a week ago he went ahead and joined my game while i was playing this in my free time and it's basically an exclusive youtuber sword that only youtubers get and i mean it isn't the most powerful weapon if anything it's really not all that great but it looks awesome and the fact that it's exclusive only to youtubers is really really cool but i just figured i would kind of showcase this to you guys because i just think it looks really really cool it looks super sick but anyways, back to what we were doing here, man. Right now, these guys are doing insane damage to me. And it's because they're level 400 and I'm level 130. So honestly, it's a little bit difficult for me to be able to kill them without just completely going down on my second kill. But they are giving me quite a bit of XP. Now, looking over here at the new auras that they kind of introduced in their last update, it looks like I need to be a specific rank in order to get this. So unfortunately, I don't actually think I can get it because I'm not currently max rank. But aside from that, I didn't even have enough of the currency that they specifically asked for this in order to purchase it and i believe that the only way to get that currency is if you complete the dungeon so let's go ahead and open up our teleport menu and head to the apocalypse zone which is currently the location of the only dungeon in the game so i'm going to kind of show you how this works just to give you a general idea but basically you go into the dungeon create your dungeon you can either wait for three other players to go ahead and join yours or you can start it up by yourself if you would like to and this is where it gets really interesting so basically no matter how strong your weapons are in the main game Game, none of that really matters when you're inside of the dungeon everybody has the same amount of damage which is kind of crazy to me but regardless you have a total of five lives so if you were to die it really isn't that big of a deal now personally the way that i accomplish this dungeon is obviously you want to activate this one over here on the left hand side make your way over to the right hand side activate this one as well and then the door in the center will go ahead and open for you these guys in the middle are an absolute nightmare i never really fight them i end up just kind of skipping around them and making my way to the important rooms and that's basically these rooms that are located on the side some of you that have never played this are probably a little confused right now but the reason why you need to do this is because inside of each one of these rooms which there is a total of four there is a chance for you to drop a specific key for each one of these areas once you've gotten all four of the keys you'll need to place them into the holes right here in the center of the map which then will activate the boss of the dungeon so personally what i like to do is kind of just round them all up here and for the most part i kind of just kite around but just know that they are going to do some pretty crazy damage to you but i mean at the same time it doesn't really matter if they're doing a lot of damage to you because like i said before there's only four keys that you need to get you have a total of five lives so technically speaking you could die in every single one of the zones and it really wouldn't matter but i personally recommend that you leave maybe like three or two lives because the boss isn't the easiest thing in the world also i don't know if you guys have noticed but while i haven't been in combat my health has been going up so don't worry about losing your health and just being stuck there yeah, let's go ahead and round up these guys as well so that that way we can get at least the first key and I can show you guys what that looks like. Which actually, I might take that back. I don't know if everybody does the same amount of damage in here. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I'm doing a lot more damage now with the weapons that I'm using. So I could very well be wrong when it comes to that, considering I still am very much of a noob on this game. Now, the way that you'll know if you ended up getting the key is it will show it on the bottom left-hand side over here. On top of that, I think something does pop out on your screen. I haven't done this in quite some time. I've been really trying to focus on getting 
getting some of the good items so that way i could start covering the updates on this game but i gotta tell you man this game is a grind and i absolutely love it i think it's absolutely hilarious that i've killed every single thing inside of this room and this one guy that i left at the end is the one guy that has the key so as soon as i kill him i should be able to get the key and there it is right there but just go ahead walk up to it press your corresponding key if you're on mobile or if you're on console whatever it may be then just go ahead and walk on to the next room to get your next key keep in mind you do not have to kill every single thing inside the room sometimes you will get lucky and get it a little bit earlier which right there i actually got it look at it right here i'm gonna grab this and get away from these guys if you leave the room they are just gonna run back to their current positions you don't have to worry about the rest of them but i'm gonna regenerate my health here really quick and then we'll move on to the next zone dude can we just appreciate how sick this looks it looks so good those weapons are insane anyways here we are in the next room this room i believe is called inferno the sign is kind of right over there uh yeah inferno which unfortunately i just died here for the very first time but honestly that's perfectly fine because i don't really want to complete this dungeon right now it's really long and i just really wanted to show you the general idea and some of the things that are going on within this game and why i will be covering this game a lot more i know so many of you have been telling me in the comments the cover combat rift and to be completely honest i don't have any idea why i haven't done it sooner considering i've been playing a lot of this on my free time and i've actually been having a really really good time so yeah guys again i just wanted to make this really quick video to show you guys these insanely cool weapons that Corey was able to go ahead and let me borrow for the video again if you guys want to see more combat rift videos maybe in their next update which they do like i said potentially have a new dungeon coming out as well as the next zone let me know in the comments and also drop a like on the video because for one that's gonna let me know if you guys are enjoying it and it's also gonna help my content get out there which i would really really appreciate hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed today's video if so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my future videos but that's gonna go ahead and do it for today like always i will see you guys in the next one take care